Good morning, uh, you join me on a day of work. This is going to be the next vlog, so welcome back to the channel. Um, and I am literally just heading into work at 8.36. I mean, admittedly, I've been outside my parents' house since, I think, 10 to 7. But here we are. Here is the machine. Just taking a moment to come out. It's such a big thing. I saw it behind me. As you can see, I'm going to have to turn around to follow the cherry picker. Which is quite hard to do with one hand. Right. Now we're going to have to chase down the cherry picker. Which I think he went left. I'm sure he did. Did he? Did he go right? He's gone right. No, he has gone left. Jeez, I'm getting confused now. There he is. He's down here a little bit. A bit of the ways. Oh, lovely. Got a bit blade. Apologies. Trying to catch back up to the train breaker. But he goes at some rate. Clips in at the end of what we've been up to. There it is. So we're heading off to work. We try when we're kind of convoying like this with the cherry picker and the pickup truck, because the pickup truck carries all the tools. Um, we try to make it so that the pickup truck's kind of always behind the cherry picker, it's not anything else, in case we have anything in the basket. It's easier for it just to do this particular truck instead of other people's truck. And so this one will be behind the cherry picker as long as I said that I can catch up. I'm going to tell you we'll wait there for a second. Almost, when it can come in, no, clear to go, should be able to catch him here. Provided that car doesn't go fucking left. See, that's part of the problem. We tried to keep the pickup truck behind, but if I'm not quick enough to keep up with him, people get in front. In this particular circumstance, you can see how that has occurred. So, we are heading off to our first job. I'm not actually sure what it is. My dad said something about we're going to the dentist building. I can't remember exactly what we're doing. And then I know that we're going to another building uh, along the front of Helensburg that needs some repair. This is the best thing about me following my dad because if I don't know exactly what job we're doing, it's easy enough for me just to follow him. I mean, it's that big, I can't miss it. So, we're just heading through the centre of Helensburg at the moment, and he's stopping. Ah, it's this dentist. Right, so I'll catch back up with you in just two minutes. The first job was confirmed not to be a cherry picker using job. It was more of a survey to discover the problem of a building we were just looking at um, and the easiest way to access it, which is not with that machine because that one's too big. But now we are going to said second job, and I don't know what said second job is. I think it's something to do with a Toyota garage. 
I think. What is that car? Audi. Audi something. That's cool. Uh, but we're going this direction. Technically towards my house. Um, which is very strange. My my roof could do a few repairs, so if we could stop by and sort that, that'd be nice. But we are heading towards said job and I'm unaware of what said job is at this very moment in time. I'm unaware of where we're actually going. Oh, excuse me. I also think I pulled the muscle in my arm. That's really sore. So, hold this camera is not very nice. No, we're pulling over. Okay, that's a bit late on the indication there. Right, well, I'll be back in a minute. Well, how are we pulling out? He's like reversing me. Right, well, I'll be back in a minute because I think we're doing something. I just don't know what. Clearly. I lied. My dad's going to obviously buy some supplies from me there. <laughs> and the machine's there. Yeah, I never really know what's happening. We should really get radios, like a, a radio plant here, so I can find out exactly what it is we're doing. Because obviously I carry all the... That's to stop the dogs, but I carry all the tools in the bed of the truck. Because if you look on that thing, where, where are you meant to put them? Bar in the basket, but we do that with cones. So I just carry everything in this truck which gives me somewhere warm to sit, which I don't know why it's so cold. But it gives me somewhere warm to sit, have my lunch, have something to eat, a wee drink. And it gives my dad somewhere as well. When that's up in the air and the outriggers are out, obviously you can't get in the cab. Um, so it's easier just to take this and sit in this. So this is like the lunchtime vehicle, the haul all vehicle, and go get supplies vehicle. Which is good. It's very comfy. So yeah, we're just waiting now. So the first job is set up for, if this is going to focus that would be nice, machine is up in the air and ready for the basket to go up, I'm sitting in the truck waiting for my dad because uh, it's cold. So I'm sitting here with some nice heating, waiting for him and dreaming about breakfast because I'm hungry. Um, so yeah. I'm just waiting for my dad. My dad's away speaking to, I think, a member of the building. I'm not sure. Um, he's a hint of where we are. That is the ESO garage in Helensburg. Effectively, Tesco. The Tesco petrol station in Helensburg. So, if that gives you an idea of where we might be, then that's where we are, and obviously there's the seafront, which as you'll know if you've watched previous videos, very similar to the front of my house, so it might be close to my house. Um, and I'm dreaming about breakfast, I'm absolutely starving. I should really eat before going on these jobs, because I end up just getting hungry halfway through, and I am hungry. Um, so, yeah. I think we're going to get this job done and then I'm going to jump to Greg's, get some stuff for breakfast and run up to my mum and dad's house to get some breakfast. And then back out. I think we've got a few jobs to do. I'm sure he said we had three particular jobs to do. Um, so yeah, if you like this kind of content around the machine and different things like that, um, I'll try to get more footage of the use of the machine today. But if you like content like this, this is something you're interested in watching, um, keep watching. Uh, we do quite a lot of this. It's not it's not something I've really put on a video before, but we use this machine a lot, we use a different machine a lot, we've looked at buying a few machines ourselves, but we find it's easier just to rent one, because we don't have the maintenance bill. Um, but we still are in discussions of potentially buying one of these machines because we actually we run a company. This isn't just if we feel like it. That there actually is like a company name behind us um, that we own. So yeah, there's a a bright future ahead with machines like this. 
Because they are very good. I'll put a clip in. Is that going to focus? I'll put a picture in at the end of this video, somewhere we had this machine yesterday for a job that was required to be done. Um, emergency work on a building as the gutter had basically disintegrated and the water was peeing into the side of the roof. So that was quite an important job that had to be resolved. So we had to put the machine in a particular spot and I did it and it worked. So I'll show you a picture of that at the very end of the video and I'll share another little clip I got on my phone. But I'll do quite a lot of vlogging today so you can see what this is all about and how all this works because I think it's very interesting. And yeah, I'll catch back up with you shortly. I'm just waiting for my dad and I'm sitting in the warmth. And yeah, we'll get on with it. As you can see, obviously the machine is up in the air. My dad is up there with a bin bag at the moment getting some stuff out the valley gutters. As you can see there. The machine's up there there. I must admit I'm sitting here with the heaters on and I'm absolutely freezing. We've got two uh, tenants, tenants, sorry, two people that live in this property. They're here, not inspecting. There, there's a, a person that lives in the bottom that doesn't think there's work getting done, but they're out here taking pictures just to prove it is. Nothing but nice people. Um, but he's up there. I'm down here trying to stay warm. I am freezing. I don't know why. My dad must be worse. He's getting hit by all the wind. But we do take turns at this, so. He's not the only one getting cold. So as much as I'm sitting here in the heat, the next job I go to, I'll be up there and he'll be in the heat. But obviously, the door is wide open and the case of an emergency, I've got complete access to over there. It's not a problem at all. So, I'm staying warm. Bella back there staying warm. You all right, boo, boo Yeah, everything's going well so far. You can see him up there. I don't know how that looks through you, is that quite clear? Better film this angle. Yeah, here we go. It's just doing a bit of manoeuvring, heading to the, the corner of the property. And then we're moving round out there to the front of this property. Just to have that checked, but everything seems to be fine so far. So. Yeah, I'll catch back up with you shortly. Um, I'm going to order breakfast and then I'll go collect that from me and my dad. But I won't leave until he's obviously on the ground because that's not safe. So, yeah, I'll see you in probably five, ten minutes. Well, as you can see, or maybe not see because my camera won't focus, we're at another location. This is a friend of my dad's. Where you can obviously see he is up there. Potentially requiring some assistance, so I'm going to move over a wee bit just to make sure he's doing okay. But obviously, the machine is here at a friend of my dad's house, a friend of my dad's house, and he's heading up here on the roof. I apologise for the rain. I'm trying to avoid my camera getting wet. It's a wee bit sprinkly, as you can see. He's just up there. Machine there. There's a pickup there. Uh, yes, you're fine. So he's coming down slowly towards that roof, as you can see. Good wee bit to go. Apologies for the shouting over the camera, so I can go in that direction. Still a wee bit. See, uh, so he's up there trying to sort that roof at the moment. And I'm going to put my camera back in the car because it's wet. It's raining, I can't have my hair, my hair's a disaster, and my lens is wet, so that's not very good. I need to get that clean. So I'm going to put you back in the truck for just now. Which, as you can tell, is a complete work truck. I do like Prime, I drink a lot of that stuff. But as you can tell, it's a complete work truck. It does a red zone different thing. So I need to go over. So as you can see, I'm now in Morrison's car park and there's no cherry picker to be seen. 
Well, there is a Grace. Hi. But you can't really see my <laughs> Grace's black, and Hallie's down there. Grace is uh, sorry, and Hallie. But we're going out at the moment. I have a doctor's appointment to go to, so I'm going to that. And Grace is going to play with Hallie. Um. But yeah, so far that's at this very moment in time. There's nothing else really going on. Um, I'm going to adjust my microphone quickly, so I apologise if this sounds horrible. Oh, Fixed. Oh. Um, I'll hand you back oh. over to Grace and Thornton. So I can get my seatbelt on and look at a gearbox. I'm ready to go. Drive. Oh, and now we're going through Morrison's, and because people have no common sense, they don't get out of the way. That window does take three weeks to go up, I don't know why. Although, Grace has offended me today, because wow. I think we had an opportunity to potentially buy a BMW, and Grace doesn't like it, because she's mean. We good, Matt? It's horrible. How is it horrible? It's a 3 Series. I think we're all moldy. 325, I think. Yeah, it needed a wash. I'm done with washing all the cars. We've already done it with the Fiesta. We yeah, were meant to get that and we never the Fiesta got it. is in Sterling. Probably in a scrapyard. Huh? Probably in a scrapyard. No, they'll fix that thing and sell it. My brother traded in the Fiesta for his BMW. So I could have bought a BMW, I probably could have bought it today. And Grace was like, oh my god, it's got mould in it. Yeah, well, we clean it. And it was beeping. Yeah, that's, I think, well, it had a dead battery. A pump started it. So, I think that's why it was beeping. I just don't think, I think it was like, oh my god, life. I just couldn't get it to stop beeping. And then, you know the control panel that's down here? Yeah. And your mum and dad's beamer? Yeah. Well, that has that, but it doesn't work. Oh. So. Oh well. You don't need any of that stuff. Just strap an iPad to it. Oh. It looked like that. Oh no, it didn't. <laughs> That's kind of lovely. See when you consider buying a car, have you ever seen that there's like 40 million of that one brand? Yeah. Once you're interested in buying it. Like I was looking, remember the other day I was looking at the Maserati um, SUV 4x4? Uh -huh. I've seen like 12 today. <laughs> just because I've been sat looking at them for sale. And then today I was looking at a um, Mercedes. Um, X Class, I think they're called. It's a pickup truck. Mercedes pickup truck. And I was looking at the really, really good ones. Um, 50, 60 or grand, full kit ones, white body kits and all that. And I've seen two since I've looked at them. Like, it's really annoying. But then our friend's dog, Odin, uh, he had a bad front paw that's been fixed. Now he has a bad back paw. That's he did let me touch it though, and he didn't um, squeal. Well, that's now to be fixed. <laughs> God knows what's wrong. Probably nothing. He's just dramatic. <laughs> he let me touch it this time. Though. Yeah, we took him to the vet, and he literally wouldn't let the vet touch him, which obviously makes it very difficult for a vet to examine, because how she meant to see what's wrong. Um, he didn't see that as a problem, though. He seemed he seemed to see that as normality. And uh, we were very cruel to him because we were touching him. Broken and broken. Yeah, he was very upset about it. Um, if he had a lawyer, he would have phoned. <laughs> for some weird reason. I don't know what his problem was. But yeah, I'm going to the doctor's for my appointment and Grace is going to put with Hallie. And then... I don't know. And if I ask Grace what we're doing, Grace won't know. No. She'll just say, Draggies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you never know. No, I'm oblivious. Hmm? I'm oblivious to the world. I'm oblivious to life. Well, I'm going to turn your camera off now because it hurts my arm. Wow. Okay, right, well, I'll see you all later because Grace is too lazy to go to the camera. I really do apologise about this video not really having an ending, but I ran out of time as I had to get on with work. Um, but if you like this kind of content, there'll be more things like this uploaded.